So today on Mainline Healthy Living, we are meeting with chiropractor Patrick Lay, Dr. Patrick Lay of the Center for Higher Power. Dr. Lay, thank you for joining us today uh, with Mainline Healthy Living. Um, today we're just talking a little bit to introduce you because you're gonna be a featured guest, a regular guest here yes. on the show, helping people understand uh, the role that chiropractic plays in health and wellness in general, and then you know some very specific topics. So we wanna get to know you a little bit today. Is that all right? Great, that's fine. All right, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, where you come from, uh, how you got into chiropractic, and we'll just kind of go from there and see what comes up. Great, Dr. Mark. Well, I'm from originally from Southern California. Okay. So I moved here uh, in August of 2014. Okay, so you're a new transplant I uh, am to new the trans East Coast. You're dealing with culture <laughs> shock. <laughs> Major. It's a little different. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. No, no 18 lane highways to, uh, to kind of get through traffic at all times, right? <laughs> that is correct. Yes. <laughs> I was just out in LA recently, so okay. I, I, know, I know what traffic is like now. Yeah, that's been a big transition. Yeah. But yes, I uh, moved here August 2014, and I opened up my office here in, in Philadelphia. Balakinwood, Balakin Wood. where we are right now. Yep. Yes, in September. Of okay. 2014. Excellent. So it's been almost a year, and uh, I am here with my wife in in the, on the East Coast. Right. And no kids yet. No kids yet. Yes. Okay. So that was kind of a nice, uh, easier transition. Right. Yes. For us. That would be a lot more transition schools <laughs> and all that kind of stuff that you'd have to deal with. That's correct. Okay. And um, yeah, so that's basically from um, in terms of where I'm from. Right, where you're, you're coming. Now, yes. let's go back a little bit in terms of how did you, uh, some people are, of course, gonna be very familiar with chiropractor, some yes. chiropractic, some people are not. So let's talk a little bit just um, to set the stage of, of yes. what is chiropractic? What do people need to understand in terms of, of how to focus on its role? But then I, I'd like to talk a little bit about how you got into it and why this is a, is a passion for you. You know, mm, I'll start there. Mark. Okay. Um, getting into chiropractic, it was just by chance. Mm -hmm. And it was through my nephew, Nathan. Okay. My nephew, Nathan, he's my older brother's son. Okay. Firstborn. And he was diagnosed with asthma at six months of age. Interesting. Okay. And so then um, my brother, you know, took him to the pediatrician and they, you know, gave him a breathing machine, inhaler, you know, just so that, um, you know, they can deal with the asthma mm -hmm. and treat it. And my sister, she was seeing a chiropractor, um, you know, at the time just for her scoliosis. Okay. And she's like, hey. John, why don't you bring Nathan over to you know my chiropractor's office? He's got testimonies on the wall, you know, of kids that he helped with mm -hmm. you know certain conditions like asthma. And so my brother's like, no, you know, he doesn't have back pain. He's you know not. Well, a and I, I would case. I would make that same mistake, right? I would be yeah. thinking, okay, if I don't need a spinal adjustment, if I don't have <laughs> neck or shoulder pain, why would I why would I be going to a chiropractor yes. for asthma? So that's a great example. Okay. Yes, sir. And so then my brother said, no, no, you know, he's, he's okay. He's not, you know, not a work comp issue or auto accident case, whatever. <laughs> exactly. And so then my sister's like, no, no, just bring him, just try, okay? Mm -hmm. And my brother was like, okay, I'll, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a try. So we brought Nathan to Dr. Grant's office and um, Nathan got checked. And it was, we were so blessed that after his first adjustment, his asthma symptoms just kind of went away. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And so then um, now he's in high school, going to be a junior mm -hmm. in high school, and he's playing sports, basketball, and he's no asthma issues whatsoever. So this story kind of perked up your brain and you said, hmm, something to this. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. Exactly, because Dr. Mark, I was applying for medical school. Okay. And so I was in the middle of that, but something in my heart was telling me, you know what, this isn't right for you. You know, like, mm -hmm. this is not your calling. Right. And then when Nathan's situation came up, it just kind of perked up my senses a little bit. Hey, you know I me, mean? this could be something that I could go into. Right. But I wasn't sure. And so then Dr. Grant, I went to, um, for my first visit as well, and I uh, experienced chiropractic, and then I was going to get adjusted regularly. And then he approached me one day and he said, you know what, Patrick, while you're you know, waiting for your med school applications, why don't you come work for me? Okay. So I was his chiropractic assistant for uh, some time. So he kind of roped you in. He right? roped you, me in. You know, he said, hey, yeah, <laughs> this guy thinks he's gonna be a medical doctor, but I'll show him where he really belongs. Right? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> and so he kind of knew, he saw something in me. Uh -huh. And so then as I was working with him, one day he said, you know what, Patrick, if D, if DC had the same status as MD, would you be a chiropractor? And instantly answered him, yes. Right, DC being doctor of chiropractic. Doctor of chiropractic, right. correct. Yeah. And so then I was like, oh wow. I was, I, oh, I, I knew chiropractic was for me, mm -hmm. that this is the field I wanted to go into, but I was afraid. 
mm. because in my culture, you know, they wanted us, you know, in, in especially in the Vietnamese culture, they wanted us to be a high status, right? You know, MD, right. Uh, lawyer, you know, you, what I mean, you dentist. didn't want to be a lesser doctor. Right? Yeah. You wanted to be a real doctor. Right? That's exactly right. <laughs> I get that all the time as a psychologist, right? <laughs> yes. It's like, well, we're not real doctors; we're psychologists. You know, that's so. exactly right, Doctor. Yeah, and yeah. so then that's what I was just kind of coping with, you know, and dealing with. Yeah. Then I realized this is the right thing for me. So then I said, you know, what? I'm going to be a chiropractor mm -hmm. because I, when I was in his office working, I saw all these, you know, testimonials and all these experiences that people were going through, you know, like people who had high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes issues, trouble sleeping, even cancer issues, people who, you know, right. as they were getting their adjustments and getting in the nervous systems, you know, just um, basically free of nerve interference, mm -hmm. they started seeing results and naturally. Right. And it was so awesome to see. So I was like, man, I think this is what I got to do. And it felt right in my heart. Yep. Yeah, this is Excellent. It. Well, and I love your process here because, I mean, one of the first things you did with me here when I came to kind of record with you was take yes. me through your process. Yes. I love the fact that you have an introductory video that kind of really sets the stage because uh, it really clarifies the whole misunderstanding of asthma or things like that. It, it yes. makes perfect common sense when in your video you're talking about the fact that obviously we have a brain yes. and the brain has to communicate with the rest of the body and it does it through the nerves that are passing, of course, through the spine yes. and through all these little canals that are coming out of the spine, right? So Correct. that any, anything that's out of line can, of course, interfere yes. with the communication. I guess that's what's happening for you know the story that you're talking about with asthma, that something the, the nerves heading to the lungs or, or to the bronchial passages, right, were, were being affected. Is, that is, is, am I on, on the right page? That is correct. <laughs> okay. Dr. Mark, you said it perfectly. <laughs> so, yeah, I should record you. There you go. <laughs> Make a new video. That was phenomenal. Um, that's exactly right. And with Nathan's case, it was awesome because my brother, after Nathan, you know, um, you know, had results, he said, oh, Dr. Grant, thank you very much. And Dr. Grant responded, you know, no, it wasn't me. It's the power that was in with, with that was within Nathan. Right. We just freed up that nerve interface. Right, you removed an obstacle to the free flow of energy and information going from the brain yes. to the body and back and forth. Right. That's exactly right. It so makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah and that's absolutely. the beauty of chiropractic is that we don't treat any right. symptoms or disease or, or, or pain. Right, you're well, not going to do any surgical intervention on me here. You know? No, <laughs> what we're doing is we're just freeing up that nervous system right. and allowing the body to heal and, and, and deal with whatever the situation you have deal with it, you know, by itself. So to Excellent. Speak. Yes. So obviously in the coming months, people are going to get to know you better uh, through through Mainline Healthy Living and, yes. and the things that we're going to be talking about. We're talking obviously to people who are passionate about health and wellness and they want to maximize their their energy and their ability to enjoy life. Yes. So tell me a little bit about, you know, uh, how chiropractic can impact that because it's obviously not just about disease. That's part of what we were talking about before we started recording that that part of what people have to get their mindset around as a chiropractor is very much about quality of life and enhancing life. It's not just about waiting till something's broken and fixing it, right? That's exactly right. Chiropractic is lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's about wellness and prevention. Mm -hmm. And that's the key, wellness and prevention. So a lot of times, especially with the older generation, like you said, you know, wait for something to happen, wait for a pain or symptom, and then, okay, let's go to the doctor. Right. But a lot of times, sometimes that's too late, right. you know? So that's why I'm just trying to educate people that, look, chiropractic is a great avenue to use, mm -hmm. to utilize in your life as well as your family's life, that with wellness and prevention. So mm -hmm. just making sure your body is well from the inside out right. rather than from the outside in. Yep, yes. makes perfect sense. And so if someone is already investing in themselves in the sense of, you know, they're, they're exercising, they're into biking or running or swimming, or, you know, they have an active lifestyle. Yes. It just makes sense to at least be getting checked out and say, all right, let's make sure that uh, A, your lifestyle is not impacting and moving things out of line, which it of yes. course will, right? That is correct. Um, and that it, none, of, none of that is then interfering with your ability to, to get the maximum out of what you're trying to do to, to yes. create health and wellness in your life, right? That is correct. Mark, and okay. especially, man, moving here to Philadelphia, mm -hmm. it is such a different culture. It's a yeah. more stressful environment. Yep. It's more hustle and bustle and yep. go, go, go right. compared to where I came from, Southern California. So chiropractic Not as laid back, <laughs> no. and, you know, let's go to the beach, yeah. and, you know, let's go surfing. And yeah. A lot more car honking, you know, exactly. that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. And so then, you know, I've noticed that. So I was like, man, chiropractic will be such a huge asset for people to have here, right. you know, um, for themselves, to, for, for people to util for utilize right. so that they can actually keep themselves well. And so that whenever they, all these stresses are bombarding their system and that they're able to stay well through chiropractic care. Excellent. Yes. So, and what are some of the, the topics you can envision us coming back and talking about as, as we're sort of talking to people in the mainline area who are interested in health and wellness? Mm. Um, what are some things that they might be surprised to learn? Uh, you know, like asthma was, was a surprise, but what else might be interesting for us to talk about in the future that we can share with people? That's a great question, Dr. Mark. Um, I'm 
definitely want to talk about stress. Yeah. I definitely want to talk topic, about yeah. sedentary jobs. People yes. who, you know, because right. I spend way too many hours in front of a computer <laughs> editing yes. video and things. And honestly, I mean, it, it, it's amazing just the position of your chair. I mean, yes. I, I, you know, every now and then I get lazy and I sit at my dining room table. Yeah. And I always regret it, you know, because it's like the angle of the chair is wrong and the height is wrong. And I mean, I definitely feel it in my spine. So I know I'm yes. not being wise when I do that. And I should be seeing you on a re <laughs> regular basis. And I should be sitting in a proper chair, right? So, yes. You know. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, sedentary lifestyle, the impact of stress and how our bodies hold stress when we get stressed out. Yes, um, excellent. Um, the you know maybe the effects of just chronic prescription medication use. Mm, okay, you know because right. I encountered that a lot back in Southern California. Yeah, it's amazing how much uh, pharmaceuticals. Did, did you know that it's actually measurable amounts of of different pharmaceuticals in the water supply now because so many people are on antidepressants and things yes. like that because of stress, right? Yes, and uh, it's it's amazing that it's so ubiquitous now that it's actually in our measurable amount in our water supply. That's quite so I guess nasty. that's bad for the pharmaceutical companies because eventually all we got to do is have a drink of tap water and we'll be getting some antidepressants. You know, so that's, I don't think that's good though. Yes. But at the same time, we need that. We need pharmaceuticals, you know. Sure, they're Especially tools. Especially in crisis. Right. They're yes. tools. Yes. Exactly. But I mean, some people may be, in, may be taking them when they may not have to, so to speak. Right. Yes. Well, I always use the analogy with my own patients sometimes that, you know, you wouldn't want to take enough painkiller to be able to walk on a broken leg. Uh, yes. Right? I mean, you know, there's a time and a place for a medication yes. where it's a, a proper tool, yes. but there's a time and a place where you're masking something that could be better treated in another way. And I think, uh, I think that's definitely some of the stuff that we can uncover in our conversations about how chiropractic yes. can really be part of people's health and wellness uh, moving great. forward. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, listen, we can't cover it all yeah. right now. We can't give people a three-hour dissertation right now. Otherwise, you know, I'm sure people have other things to do. But we're going to keep coming back. So yes. we'll be back talking about these topics. You're going to get to know Dr. Patrick Lay, and you're going to get to know chiropractic better. So we look forward to continuing our conversations as part of Mainline Healthy Living. So thanks for starting us off today. Yes, thank you, Dr. Mark. Very much appreciated.